Alright mate, Slime Aid here and welcome back to some more Sparrow Reignited. Now, there is actually a, a episode of this going up today because it's like the whole YouTube scheduling thing. And I went the, the wrong way. I, I was just about to say that the YouTube scheduling thing is just like it's a lifesaver whenever it's what? How did I I don't know. Um, it's a um, <laughs> it's a lifesaver whenever it comes to the whole a uh, like putting out videos and that because that means I can just like have a video edited and I can upload it on the same day and then have it like come out a few days afterwards. Um, I was actually going to record yesterday and I. I went like I went to the shop and grabbed myself a, a Subway sandwich and I was going to say oh yeah I got one of my me, me favourite meals a, a Subway from Subway you know stuff like that um, but then it was given like this um, this dessert I'd never had before and I don't know it, it just had a, a really weird taste to it that actually made me feel kind of ill for the rest of the day and it put me off like doing anything I felt a bit sick. Um, but yeah, um, here we are with some more Spiral Reignited. Now, you've probably noticed that recently, me, like, the upload schedule has been a bit finger, and that's because I've realised that juggling two series is actually kind of, kind of tricky. Um, I'm still going to try it though, but it is kind of tricky. I didn't mean to stand on um, that. I have went about, about entering this level in a bit of a, a strange way because most people would normally go through that first cave, but um, I decided not to. Yeah, thanks, thanks, man. Thanks a lot. But um, yeah, the what's it called? And I've actually really wanted to get back into me recording. It's just like finding a good time to record. And I've got like a very narrow window today. And I've done it again. The jump park in this game always messes me up, to be honest. It's one thing that's still to this day, even after all these years of this being out, which Wow, it's actually a surprise that this game is like, what, four years old now? Um, that I have still not really got the hang of it. Can you go away? Of the jump park? Uh, we may as well grab this while I'm here. Um, oh, I was hoping that it would like, bounce down here, one of them wizards on the end. <laughs> like, got a new app for you, mate. But yeah, um... One thing that I've actually been doing recently is I've been getting back into... How did that even hit me? Um, getting back into shiny hunting. Also, this here, this is just like really strange to bring up, but these guys in the original version of this game weren't metal spiders. They were actually big beetles. And the whole gimmick with this area is that these guys here if you stand in the what's it called, they'll turn around and run after you. Um, I remember hearing loads of stories about people when they were little kids being absolutely terrified of this area. Yeah, the what's it called... Oh, he almost got me then. Do these guys turn red when I heard? <laughs> I was going to see like... How far I could like get up to one of these guys to You didn't even like actually hit me then. But yeah, we recently I've been getting back into shiny hunting. So whenever I've been bored, all I've actually been doing is just booting up a lot of the older games actually like X and Y and that, because that's one thing I, I, think, I think I've mentioned it a few times on my channel already, but I want to mention it again. Um, I actually 
the last main bugs. series Pokemon game that I actually bought like was um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I mean, technically I bought like Pokemon Crystal and that afterwards, but that's like, again, that's a, an old game. You get the point there. But, um, the latest released one, I should really say, was actually Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And I've never really bothered getting the like the Switch games because honestly I'm just disappointed and I don't really think anyone would blame me for being disappointed. It's one where we can actually break out, yeah it is. I safely just like glide over there. Oh wait, yeah, th I thought this guy only ran around in a little room, but this is kind of disorientating. I think this might have been the little room that I was thinking of. I thought I actually hit him then. I was getting like, pretty excited about that. But um, yeah, and while I've been... Um, while I've been shining on that, I've actually been watching like One Punch Man on that. So I don't know, I just thought it was a, a bit of a, a, a little tangent to bring up while we chase down an egg thief. Is that everything in this area that we just grab? Because there's actually a unique gimmick to this. As you can see we can't really get back, but there's these fairies that kind of just like place you up here for some reason, would have thought we would have placed me a little further down, but um, this is a, another supercharged box, which I kind of um, grossly underestimated where we'd be heading then, but this is like kind of the gimmick of this level, supercharging. I mean it was kind of the, the gimmick of Wizard's Peak, but there's also, there's a few levels later on, one in particular. And in one in particular that's really infamous for Supercharge. People who have played I already know that I'm going on about treetops. With jumping and gliding and really explore. I, I do find it really interesting though that this is like the only um, level in this game that has that gimmick with the fairies in it. Yeah, room. Um, I've just been completely sidetracked. Normally by now, I, I feel like I've, I've run out of literally everything I would normally say. Yeah, that doesn't work, mate. Um, oh, actually, yeah, there's actually something really interesting. High Caves is actually in a, a, a really strange situation whenever it comes to Spyro, because what is playing in the background now is the High Caves theme. However, it wasn't the, like, there's actually two High Caves themes. There's the one that's playing now. And then there's also one that... Did he just teleport? There's also one that was made... Because th this one that's playing now is, like I said, this is... Gee thanks guy, um, it's, it's from the original. But there was actually, the Spyro games whenever they released, um, there's multiple versions of them. And in both Spyro 1 and Spyro 3 on the PlayStation, there was a unique kind of thing whenever it came down to music. Um, this being Spyro 3 had um, basically a bunch of music tracks were composed for Spyro 3 but didn't actually get used in the final game and as a result when they re-released the game because what they did is they had like a version 1 um, and that's what the Version 1 is what um, NTSC 
So like America and I think Australia. No, actually I think Australia's pal. Um, but what America got? I need to, like jump over and did I just avoid damage or did I take damage by doing that? So this guy's a bit annoying. Actually, can I, I? I need to try something here. I know we've been in this level for like 10 minutes now, but oh, I'm actually pretty bang on there. Can I chip this up at him? Yes! <laughs> that worked! That actually worked! I didn't think that would actually work! That's actually incredible work. But yeah, now we've got to uh, just drop down the fairies will grab us and then put us all the way in that little cave. Uh, but there is, um, yeah, I was saying about the, the music. And essentially... I'm not going to be able to make this jump, am I? Um, essentially what happened with um, the music is Spiral 3 had a lot of like finished tracks that actually weren't put into the places that they were supposed to be. So if I remember correctly, um, Dino Mines, um, Haunted 2, and Crystal Island all had fully composed music tracks that Owen oh, the um, Sorceress all had fully composed music tracks but were never actually used in the game. So when they re released the game again for America with the, the great with the greatest hits version, they actually um, they enabled all of these tracks. I need to, oh, it's there. It's, um, they enabled all of these music tracks, and it resulted in the second release of the game having quite a whole different set of music. Now, in truth, these, these music tracks were already in the game, but just went unused. But with the what's it called? Now we got to sneak past this guy. Get out my face! Um, but with um, Spiral 1, it was a really unusual situation with the high case specifically. So the track that you're hearing now is... Remember that tree truck? tree tops that I mentioned before. Um, the track that's actually playing now is actually a slowed down version of that. Um, and this game, at least in the original versions, had like a like a, a thing where if you spent enough time in a level, um, a slow version of that level's track would kick in. Or like an alternate, I completely forgot about this area up here. Like an alternate level theme. Like an alternate level theme would play. And what would end up happening is this level would end up. Oh, this is the other power up! Um, Spyro now actually has a um, super fire. So now all these, I think they call metal bag spiders. Um, we can just take them out like that. So not only can you head charge them, you can go up here and get the fairy kiss. Which you didn't need to do it again to be honest. All I want to do is try and get these idiots and that's happened again um, yeah essentially what happened with the music track in this level is this uses a slowed down version of tree treetops but um, 
in the PAL version of the game, which was like a 1.1 version compared to the NCSE version, um, what ended up happening was um, the actual high cave speed um, was quite added. I swear that something through that wall there that I'm missing, I think it's like six extra gems. Um, but essentially what happened was when they remade this game, they were basing it off of the NTSC version. So the actual high cave speed, the one that was fully composed for it, actually went completely unused. Oh, it's there's one of the extra gems. So it never even got a remix for Reignited. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to play the actual high cave speed for a bit. While I collect the rest of the gems. And there we go, there's the last, what's it called? So, where is that exit portal actually? I completely forgot where that is. But yeah, it's just really strange knowing that there was a track that was fully composed for this game. Well, for the original version of this game, that went basically unused because the people who were developing this game actually just kind of forgot that it existed. And to be honest, this is a shame. Because I actually do like the high cave speed that was composed. Now you can actually see where I'm like starting to become slightly unfamiliar with the levels. Because like I said, I played this game as a lot as a kid. But... I never really got too much further than Magic Crafters. Reignited was the first time I ever actually beat this game. Whereas, like with Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, I actually beat both of those whenever I was a kid. I, I keep wanting to comment on the skyboxes, I've become like a, a little obsessed with the skyboxes in this game. Ah! Not into the flight levels! It's like the NOT INTO THE PIT! IT BURNS! Did he just shoot me backwards? Um, yeah, that, that's Wizard's Peak, we've just been there. There's a Black Mage. One of my favourite um, like Final Fantasy character thing is. Oh actually, this is the, the, the boss level. I'm just going to burn a few sheep while we're... I thought I just got him! But yeah, um... No, we'll do the boss level while we're here, because typically the boss level is quite short. I think there's only really one that's like super... super long anyway. I just know there's two that's like decent length. But yeah, the what's it called? It's, it's really strange like the amount of times that there's just been like really weird quirky things with the with the music of Spyro. Actually here's something that's quite fun. 
A lot of people probably know by now that the Spyro Trilogy music was actually composed by Stuart Copeland, who was the drummer for the band Police. Um, but what a lot of people actually don't know is that all of the tracks that he composed for Spyro 1 actually have different names. Because he's like, I think the most famous example of this is whenever he released his own album. In, uh, I think in 2000 and he actually put in the theme for a level later in this game called Jacques. Where's he going now? In... So he, he put the theme for Jacques in, in this album. But it was titled on the album, Rain. And that was like the first time that we ever found out that a lot of these tracks had entirely different names from what, you know, they were known as. What is this dragon here? Somehow I completely forget that the boss levels are like, actually Hello, still levels. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in But yeah, we actually and, uh, only recently I found lie. out because I think Stuart Copeland must have uploaded the, the music somewhere. And as a result now, um, you've got like, take for example, you've got the, the Spyro OST that was uploaded like 15 years ago by a Spyro fan that just wanted to put the music on YouTube. I mean, you've now got the actual Stuart Copeland uploads. Why is this guy, like, facing the... Why is he doing that? These are the guys that in the original version of the game would just, like, chant roll, roll over and over and over again. This... This guy is a boss, though. Is quite possibly the most nothing boss in this entire game. I don't even think he has actual attacks. Yeah, I don't, I don't think those firework boxes are supposed to work like that. And then that's, that's that boss killed and dead and such. Yeah, there seems to be some gems missing somewhere, so... I've missed maybe a small part of the level. Oh, it's over there. That's that's kind of annoying, but again, like I said, these boss levels are they they're not really much. So we can just get over here. And get over here. I don't know why. I, I don't even like white mortal combat but I think that's just fun to say but yeah like I said we're, we're still around about the same like where I'd normally sign off my videos and that and we did an entire boss level and I think that might even be wait no this Alpine Ridge there's still one level that I've not yet to do in this area um, and I'll do that next episode, but if you liked me getting stuck in one level for a good bit and rambling about Spyro music, don't forget to comment, rate, like, subscribe, um, bell, leave a comment, say something funny, whatever, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!